We need to start this video by talking about an important issue that has just come out involving one of the main players in Barcelona's current squad. In the last few hours it was confirmed that Barcelona were considering selling midfielder Ilkay Gundogan, and that at this moment there are already clubs interested in the player. Newspapers confirmed that Saudi Arabia's Al Sadd would be interested in signing the Barcelona midfielder, and indeed, the Catalan club would be thinking about selling him. Barcelona are expected to sell Gundogan for between 20 and 30 million euros, and the Catalan club would gain a lot in this deal as Ilkay Gundogan arrived at the club last year on a free transfer. At this moment there are three reasons that would lead Barcelona to think about selling Gundogan, where the first would be the fact that his salary is extremely high, approaching 20 million euros, being the third highest salary in the club behind only Frankie de Jong and Lewandowski. The second reason would be because he has a contract until next year and if they don't sell him now, they run the risk of losing him for free, the same way he arrived at the club. And the third reason would be because Gundogan's departure would make it possible for Danny Almo to join the first team next season. But in you, are you for or against selling Ilkay Gundogan? Leave your opinion here in the comments. Now let's move on to the main news, exclusive last minute bomb. Danny Almo surprises and sends a message to Barcelona in the last few hours. When asked about the rumors involving his name in Barcelona, Danny Almo said the following, In fact the rumors are real and I don't deny that it would be a pleasure for me to return to this important club where I started my career. Right now there are a lot of bureaucratic things being resolved and I can't say anything about it, but it's certain that in the next few days you will know everything, said Danny Almo. At this moment it is confirmed that the signing of Danny Almo is almost 100% certain, and that all that remains is for RB Leipzig to accept Barcelona's agreements. The expectation is that this or next week Barcelona will pay Danny Almo's release fine and officially present the player this month or at the beginning of next. At this moment, many Kules fans are eager to see Danny Almo back at Barcelona, because for those who don't know, Danny Almo was a player for the Catalan club for several years during the youth teams. In your opinion, are you against or in favor of hiring Danny Almo? Do you think Barcelona will be doing a good or bad deal in signing him? Tell me here and I'll be reading your comment, I'll see you in the next video.